Right, this tutorial is going to show you how to make kill marks, or, well, to be honest, anything other than the default for Crossfire. Right, so first of all, you want to go to your wherever your Crossfire is installed, and seeing that I've got it as default, it's in the Z8 Games Crossfire folder, and you want to go to Res, UI, and then Mark, and then you want to open any of, say, we'll go for the default headshot. Um, okay, and you want to open it with uh, paint.net. And as you can see, I've already got mine modified to the smooth bar at the moment, but it doesn't matter at the moment. Okay, and what you want to do is if you're just doing it from scratch, you can just you just clear whatever's on the screen by pressing Control A and then delete. And then say we want to do a, it's just gonna be simple. So I'll just do a smiley face or something. Uh, okay, and just let's add a shape to the background. A new layer. Shift click to draw his face. Let's do it full film. Okay, there we go. Now if we just pull out there and move that. Move that down a layer, and then if we just move that across, there we go. Uh, so yeah, and then once <laughs> then once you've done that, you want to save it, and it will give you a whole lot of options. Just save it as .tga. Uh, yeah, you want to replace it. If you want 32 bit? Press OK. Flatten the image. And that was saved it, and there we go. So there's a new headshot. Although what you could do instead is, rather than doing it yourself, you could just say go on to Google and search for a headshot icon or something like that, or just some image that you like. Say we'll use that one. If we copy that paste it in, keep the canvas the same size, then you want to reduce the size of it by holding shift and clicking on the corners, and zoom in a bit, control plus, then if you use the magic wand tool to select the outer edges, where the, the stuff that you don't want, and just press delete, and say we don't want that, or that. Maybe not. If you just reduce tolerance a bit, that, and increase it again. Maybe a bit too much. Yep, there we go. And that, and there you go, there's a headshot icon from an image. And then if we just do the same again, just save it. And it because it's only one layer, it should be fine. Because you've already saved it once before. So that that's how to make kill marks. Or although you could try this on other ones, uh, it will work on every single one. The only one that's only set of kill marks that are different are the badge knife one and the uh, badge multi one to six, which are twice the size of the usual ones because of the uh, because of the badge upgrades. So yeah. 